Hello, guys. I just thought I'd show you again this, uh, the little brother here, the resonance. I think we all got a handle on that. I don't have to get too rude about things. This is very much over Unity. It's uh, one of my many technologies. Now, I got the big brother right here, which is actually physically a little smaller. Uh, don't let that uh, mis uh, mislead you. <laughs> so this is just a uh, this is a special motor. This is not for sale. However, I do have a motor that will be offered when I'm done explaining this video. I just have to modify it to do the exact same thing. So this motor is a pancake motor, but the the main importance is that it's a DC brush motor. Any DC brushed motor works with this technology. So I'm going to go along and explain this to you. Again, this kind of works with that, and we'll get into that later on when we want a completely off-grid, many kilowatt power system. But you can see how bright those bulbs are. Like, this is not a joke. This is um, an unbelievable arrangement that I've come up with. So it is what it is. And it is my intellectual property, and there you go. 300 watts, the watt meters are coming. When they arrive, I will take an accurate reading of exactly what these coils consume. This coil's now been sold already, so uh, I expect that the person that is purchasing it will do the accurate readings on that particular design. I have another design for this coming up too, but right now we're going to introduce this, I developed this about five years ago. Uh, I never uh, explained it public or anything like that. It was just, I just pulled it out of a box and I figured, well, it's time. Okay, so six volt battery, six volt battery. This is a motor and a generator all in one. It is over unity. It will charge this battery faster than it drains this battery. Uh, it's supplied hot electricity from the battery it is not inverted and it takes the cooled electricity and charges the battery and we will demonstrate that right now as you can see the meter is hooked up with the minus sign at point 6.51 volts is in this battery i'll also go on to say that this device will charge the supply battery as well as charge the output battery and you're going to say how in the hell is this possible there isn't a transistor in it all you see are two copper brushes that originally run on the motor, which uh, on another video I will demonstrate how this motor originally operates on six volts and how my modification of the one brush right here uh, causes it to operate in a specific manner. Now I'm going to show you what I have offered for sale for next and I'm going to build it to the same specifications as this it will be an over unity, two horsepower, 24 volt permanent magnet motor generator. And uh, the selling price on this is $2,500 US. And uh, I'll, I will do that uh, at some point here for everyone to see. Uh, I'll, I'll be do modifying it, so we'll, we'll get to that. But uh, that's the motor that will be offered uh, utilizing this technology. For right now, we're going to explain this technology quickly. I've modified this to cause it to go really fast. So I'll demonstrate that now. Six volts. The motor is spinning quite fast. This can be applied to any DC motor. That's kind of, that's that, right now, the device is running in self-recharge mode. It's actually recharging this battery. How can it be? Well, here's the output, 12.9 volts. This is just open-ended right now. There's no battery on it. If you look at this, that minus sign is gone. That's pumping the energy back up the wire, just the way it is. Okay, so that's one interesting effect of this technology. The second one is how I have this wired to cause this extreme rotation from such a low speed. Okay, now we're going to stop it just by pulling the brush back ahead. We're going to show you 
the resting voltage of the battery, 6.45, so it does take a little bit of power. We had started at 6.51 to do this. Now, I'm going to stop it from a dead stop. You can see that's a minus sign on the meter. I'm gonna turn on the generator. Here's my output. I'm putting in six volts, it's putting out 24 volts. Great, so we understand that. We're probably going to idle mode now. Real low speed, putting out about, oh, whatever, one volt, just barely idling. Right? Not using much power at all from the source. Now we're gonna hook this battery on, and I doubled up the alligator clips because the solder melted on the last one and the wires got kind of rubbery. Now that I'm doubly supplying this battery, it's running on this battery now through this other brush. As you can see that, the voltage sign is actually gone, okay? And this negative side is connected to the brush and the positive side is connected to the ground case of the motor, okay? Just like this, the negative side on this battery is connected to the ground case and the positive side on the brush, okay? So now it's running on this battery. It's actually running on both. I'm going to accelerate the motor and watch the charge go back into this battery. You can hear it under acceleration. It doesn't go any faster. But you hear the current draw on the motor. The reason this works is the positioning of the brush. The device is pushing while the energy is being extracted. And you can watch the output battery be recharged with quite high current, actually. And this motor will actually run on as high as 75 volts DC on the input at a crazy speed. Four kilohertz or something? Outrageous speed. I have many modifications to go with this technology. Again, you can hear the generator working. You can see I let off, it's going a little faster, it's freewheeling, the charge rate's going down. I apply a little more friction to this, a little more pressure on the brush. You can hear that I'm causing the current to really go. Video is getting long now, but I thought maybe it's time to demonstrate this technology. This is unrectified cold electricity charging that battery. So it's the collapse of the magnetic field that gives rise to the voltage as well as the high speed generation. It's a combination of both. The generated electricity on the non collapse side is going back into the source battery at high voltage, higher voltage, and the collapsed energy is going into the recharge battery. Quite interesting technology. Again, you can see that we're up to 6.4041 when I apply the current. The motor does not because they're properly phased, the motor doesn't see the work. It's gonna spin no matter what. That's the cool part of this technology. Or again, 6.42, and clearly charging the battery.
So if I take the load off, which is the battery, I take that off, instantly the speed goes higher and then I can accelerate it to the shown 24 volts and we can shut it off and we can measure the battery voltage. 6.40 volts. It really doesn't use that much power and uh, substantially charges that battery. Alrighty, long video, awesome technology, no China garbage to blow up, it's mechanical, it's over unity, the design is simple and can be applied to any DC brushed motor, okay? And this motor here is uh, 24 volts, uh, 40 amps, four, 41 amps. Very powerful motor. And this does actually run, we'll uh, show you this, on, a, on the same 6 volt battery. Well, let me just hook it up here somewhat. There you go. That's the speed that this motor runs at without any modifications to it. When I put the brush in the right spot, I cause it to go a lot faster. When it goes faster, I collect from the generated side. Have a great day. Ciao.